Hemophilia is a genetic disease that prevents blood from crossing the tree. This means a person who has the disease bleeds much more than a person without it. Hemophilia is a genetic disorder as a result of changes in genes that are either from part from parent to child or occur in the development of the fetus. As you can see from this diagram, blood clotting is a complicated process which can be called coagulation. Coagulation consists of a damaged blood vessel wall being plugged by a platelet and a fibrin containing clot to stop bleeding so that the damage can be repaired. There are different proteins or fibrin involved in this process with different factors. Fibrin and platelets combine through a chemical reaction to clot. If one of these factors, typically 9 and 7, is mutated or is lacking, one can no longer clot a wound as is required. This is what we call hemophilia. The genetics behind hemophilia are complicated things. Firstly, men and women both have 23 pairs of X chromosomes. While women have two X chromosomes, men have one X and one Y. Due to hemophilia being an X-linked genetic disorder, it can be passed from mother to son on the X chromosome. If the mother carries the gene for hemophilia as a result of one of her X chromosomes having a mutation, each of her sons will have a 50% chance of having hemophilia, while the daughters could be carriers. If you are female and one X chromosome does not work, it will be okay, it will be okay because you have a backup, and it is rare to have two X chromosomes that don't work. If you are male and your X chromosome does not work, you don't have a backup. If a father has hemophilia, there are two possible outcomes of having a child. Because the sons will always receive an X chromosome from the mother and a Y chromosome from the father, they are all hemophilia free. The daughters will always receive the hemophilia affected X chromosome from the father and a non affected or affected X chromosome from the mother. Daughters of hemophilic males are always carriers. There are different types of hemophilia. Hemophilia A. This person has low levels or is missing completely factor 8. This is the most uh, prominent type of hemophilia. Hemophilia B. This person has, uh, is missing factor 9 and is also called Christmas disease after Stefan Christmas, the first known case. Hemophilia C consists of the person who is missing factor 11. This occurs in both males and females. The first people to discover hemophilia were Jews. They were put in place in local families in which if they had already lost two of their children to circumcision, then the third would not be circumcised. The first royal to have hemophilia was Queen Victoria, upon which the blood disorder became known as the royal disease because Queen Victoria was a carrier and passed the carrier status down to many of her daughters. As a result of inter-royal marriage, many royal families were affected by the hemophilia gene. She was the first well-known person to be a carrier of hemophilia, but we can't blame her for passing it on to many, as we wouldn't have had things like Rasputin and that great song about him, or even the current British royal family. Two of Queen Victoria's daughters, Alice and Beatrice, were also carriers of hemophilia. Beatrice gave birth to two sons who had hemophilia, who called them once. She also had a daughter who became the Queen of Spain and who, like her own mother, was a carrier of hemophilia. She gave birth to two sons who had hemophilia, Alfonso and Gonzalo. The most famous case of haemophilia was Alexei, great-grandson of Queen Victoria and, and son of Alexander and Tsar, Nicholas Tsar of Russia. He bled frequently and for long periods of time, starting in an early age. The famous medicinal healer who cured him was the, Tsar, uh, was the monk Rasputin. Now that we have explained and put into context haemophilia, one can now say that the reason the male descendants of Queen Victoria often die younger than the females in the family because of being affected by a different types of haemophilia whilst females being carriers were hardly ever affected by the mutation. Created using Powtoon.